Hey everybody, it's Linnea. Today I am going to be showing you the brand new kit from Erin Lee Creative. This is the Rainbows 2 kit, and this is an add-on kit from the super popular Rainbows 1 kit. That kit sold out so quickly, so if you like this kit as much as I do, I definitely recommend heading over to the Erin Lee Creative shop and grabbing yours. I'll leave the link down in the video description below. So like I said, this kit is an add-on kit to the Rainbows One kit. So you're going to get some items that coordinate perfectly with that kit. So in this uh, kit, there are two stamp sets. You're gonna get the Still I Rise stamp set, Rainbow Sentiment Two stamp set. There's a stencil, and then there's this wonky rainbow die. So all of these products work so fabulously with the first kit. There is also a six by eight rainbow alpha stamp set, and this is an add-on stamp set. So the kit is just the two four by six stamp sets, the die and the stencil, that will retail for $36.99. This fun rainbow alpha stamp set is an add-on for $19. It's definitely worth it. So as I get started with my first card, I'm gonna make five cards today. I do want to tell you to make sure to head down over to uh, my blog. There, I'll leave that description down in the video description, but there's a blog hop today. And one lucky person is going to win this Rainbows 2 card kit. So you're gonna wanna leave comments across all of the blogs in the hop so that you can have your chance to win this fabulous kit. Okay, so for this first card, I took the six by six stencil and I have masked off the center and the bottom portion. So that walkway and then that little, the actual rainbow that's in the middle, I masked that off. I just wanna have the rays. I inked that up with some light yellow ink then I added some darker yellow towards the center and then inked over it again with the light yellow ink. That's gonna give me a gradient of color. I'm gonna peel off my tape and my stencil and you're gonna see that I got a little careless here. I have a bright yellow fingerprint at the bottom. This happens all the time to me. So I thought I would keep this mistake in here and show you how I fix it. I have this mono Tombow sand eraser and it is a lifesaver for me. I lightly scratch off all that ink and I'm good to go again. So to build up this card, I'm going to take that wonky rainbow die and die cut this from four colors of cardstock. I chose to go with pastel colors. I was feeling pastel today, but you could do any colors you want. Bright colors, you could mix in some holographic cardstock, which I'm going to do later on in this video. Since they were light and pastel, I wanted to kind of zhuzh them up a little bit. So I have my glitter spray and I'm gonna spray these rainbow arches with the glitter spray. It's hard to see the glitter right now. I feel like the glitter and the box in the background is kind of playing with my camera. In the end, when I show you the full shot of this card, you're going to be able to see the glitter that's on these rainbow bows. They just kind of give a little extra something to the card. I'm gonna be adding them onto my card, but I wanted to have some dimension. So I'm taking some skinny foam tape strips and just trimming them down. I have a helpful tip for you. With pretty much all foam tape, I find that it is easiest to curve the tape if you remove both pieces of the backer. So you'll see me doing that. And then I have my T-square ruler and I've lined that up with the bottom of the rays from that stencil. And instead of having that stenciled rainbow in the middle, I'm just going to replace it with these die cuts from the wonky, wonky rainbow die. I'm just making sure that they line up at the bottom and they nest right inside of each other. This die is a little bit different from the one that's in the Rainbows 1 kit where there's spaces in between the bows. This one, they butt right up against each other so it's really easy to nest these together. Once I have them all done, I'm going to take a sentiment and I'm just going to stamp that at the bottom of my card. And here's where you can see all of that shimmer. So a really simple card, but there's a lot of different elements here that make it fun. I'm gonna come in here with card number two. For this one, I'm working on black cardstock. And you saw me use shimmer watercolors if you have subscribed to the Erin Lee Creative channel previously. I used them in a video probably about two weeks ago. I'm gonna use them again because I love them so much. So I took the large rainbow from, this is from the Still I Rise stamp set. And I am going to just heat emboss that 
onto the black watercolor cardstock. Now I'm going to use my shimmer watercolors. You can use any kind of watercolors that you want. If they are more of an opaque watercolor, they'll work on the black cardstock. The translucent ones really don't um, because the black shows through, but you could try building up that color by doing multiple layers of watercolor. And if it doesn't work, you can always just use bright colors on white watercolor cardstock. When you watercolor over the white embossing, the embossing is going to resist that watercolor. So you're still going to have that white rainbow pop out, even if you are doing this technique on white watercolor cardstock. I'm just going to keep going on and watercoloring with a whole rainbow of my shimmer watercolors. And what's awesome about this card is that this is it. It really packs a punch with all that shimmer and that watercolor embossed resist. That's it for card number two. It was really easy to make. For card number three, I'm going to pull out the rainbow kit, the first one. These card kits are meant to work together. So I'm going to grab the rainbow background stamp. I wanted to keep the focus on this Rainbows 2 card kit, but also give you a couple ideas about how they work together. So I'm going to use this background stamp to create a couple of cards. Cards 3 and 4 will use this background. I mounted that in my Misty. I like to use my Misty when I'm using background stamps. You definitely don't have to, but especially for a technique like what I'm doing now, you're, you will want it. will It's really going to help. So I put that in there, and I stamped up just the middle with some yellow ink. And then I, you saw me kind of use my towel to dab off at the, I call it the border line. <laughs> it's where the other inks are gonna overlap. At the top, I'm gonna come in with pink, making sure that it overlaps where the yellow ink is. And at the bottom, I'll do blue. And again, I'm gonna use a towel just to dab off at the edge of that ink line so that when these overlap in the middle, you're gonna get the pink overlapping the yellow to make the orange and the blue overlapping the yellow to make the green. Since yellow is a light color, I like to go back in with my yellow and just stamp over that one more time. And you're going to see how using just two, three colors of inks, rather, I get all those colors. So this card was a process for me. I ended up turning off the camera for about a half an hour while I worked on this card. But I wanted to keep some of my process in here because I kept some of the elements of a lot of different things that I tried for the card. Do you ever have a card where you just look at it and you love all of the products, but when you mix them all together, they just don't look the way that you had intended the card to look in your head? That was this card for me. But in the end, I fixed it, and this is probably one of my favorite cards that I made today. So I'm using the add-on stamp set, the Rainbow Alphas add-on stamp set, and I stamped out this rainbow with black ink. And I'm going to take the letters. They fit inside of this little circle that's in the rainbow. So I think it would be a super fun idea to create a whole set of monogrammed cards because the possibilities are endless with the monogram cards. You could put whatever initials you want to inside of that rainbow arc. Instead of monogramming initials, I decided to take and write the words hi. But I didn't really like how the black and the purple were meshing. So... I took my scissors and I cut apart my stamped image. Then I took my white gel pen and just um, whited out where the black line was because I had a white border all around the image and that black line was kind of messing with it. So I just colored over it and it was fixed. So now I have the Rainbows 2 sentiment set and I stamped Hey You directly onto my card base and it's crooked. It's crooked and it's not centered and it didn't look good. So I'm going to fix it. I stamped it again and I die cut that with a white circle. And all I'm going to do is mount that white circle on top of my rainbow from the Rainbow Alpha stamp set and cover up that Hey You that I stamped in the background. Now because I did not stamp it where I wanted to stamp it, part of it is kind of peeking out. That original sentiment is peeking out. So I took another sentiment, stamped it on a strip of white cardstock, and I'm going to pop that up on there too, and I'm going to completely cover up the mistake that I made. So never fear if you stamp directly onto your card base and it doesn't look how you want it to. Just find a way to cover it up. So as I was working on completing that card, I stamped a second background from that rainbow background stamp from the Rainbow One card kit, and I stamped it with black ink. I love to have stark black and white backgrounds with a pop of color on top. 
And this time my pop of color is gonna come from the gold holographic cardstock from Erin Lee Creative. I die cut that with the wonky rainbow die. And I'm gonna go back to this add-on rainbow alpha stamp set because I wanted to show you how you can use these letters. Since I didn't end up using the high on the previous card, I wanted to show you how these letters look. So I stamped out the word hello, and when you add on the exclamation point, you get six different colors of ink, which is perfect to represent the six primary colors of the rainbow. And I'm just gonna use my scissors, and I will trim out around these letters. And my idea was to put them right onto the card base below the rainbow. But when I did, the black in the background was too stark and the colors just didn't look right on top. The letters just didn't look right. They were kind of blending in. So I put them onto vellum, I glued them onto vellum and I just kind of bubble cut around the vellum and made like a little background. And the vellum helps to give a little break to the eye. And so I decided to put that right on top of my gold holographic rainbow and that will finish up card number four. I just have one more left and this is going to use up some leftover pieces from the first card. In the first card I had die cut four colors from that wonky rainbow die and I didn't want to throw these away and I knew that if I just kept them I'd keep them forever and ever and ever so I wanted to use them. So I cut a slimline card base. My slimline card sizes are three and a quarter by eight and a half. And I used my T-square ruler. I took the purple, the largest purple bow and put that in the center. And then I took the largest from the two other colors and put them to the left and to the right. They hung off a little bit and I just trimmed them off with my scissors. That's no big deal. And then I just went alternating the colors of the bows and puzzle pieced them together until I have a whole slimline card base full of super cute pastel rainbows. I wanted to have a simple sentiment for this card. You can't really call it one layer because technically it's not, but since I used liquid glue and adhered the bows directly onto my card base, I'm calling this an almost one layer card. I stamped a sentiment and that finishes it off. So here are all five cards that I made today using the Rainbows card kit, the Rainbows 2 card kit from Erin Lee Creative. But remember that these card kits work together fabulously. Remember to head over to the Erin Lee Creative shop and grab your Rainbows 2 card kit. And also don't forget about the blog hop that's happening. Leave a comment in all the blogs in the hop and you'll be entered to win one of these amazing Rainbow 2 card kits. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank you again very much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button that is on the screen now. And here are a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy.